Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing well. As we all know, everyone is working from home with remote meeting apps like Zoom, Webinar, Hangouts to name a few. The convenience is amazing, but is it safe? That's what we are going to find out in today's episode of Tensai TV with Dipesh Dikshit. I am your host Gaurav and you are watching Tensai TV. Hello Dipesh, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you. The situation outside is getting worse. More and more people are working from home and opting for remote meeting apps. It would be great if you can share some light on how safe they are in the online world. Oh sure, that's a much requested topic. Attending conferences, meetings, events all from the safety of our homes with all the convenience, is there anything we need to worry about? Yes, obviously. With all this convenience, there are also some dangers. Like you don't know who may be lurking in your online meetings or even if they are trying to steal your most sensitive information. I know there are many cases where your conversations are being recorded. And also, you never know, your computers could get malware through these meeting apps. Oh my god, that's pretty dangerous. A teleconferencing software named Zoom is under attack. Several reports state that the conferences are being disrupted by pornography and threatening language. Even the company has admitted that. Oh, that's a serious problem. What about the other softwares? You would be shocked to know that this problem is not unique to Zoom only. It can happen with other virtual meeting softwares as well. Is there any way out of it? How do we prevent it? It's very easy and basic. There are five simple steps you should follow to get working with these softwares. Number one, know who is invited to connect. That means invite only the people you want in your room. If you have an open meeting or webinar, Make attendees register and provide each with the room number and password. Okay. And make sure you keep meetings and classes private. Okay. Also, be very cautious when making meetings, teleconferences or classroom public. Mm -hmm. Number two, lock the doors. Use waiting room feature to make attendees request admission upon entry. Use a unique room number and password on all meeting rooms okay and lock the room once everyone's there mm. number three don't accept candy from strangers that means always be cautious when the files are shared over virtual meetings know where you are going on the internet and what meetings conferences or meetups you are attending scan everything for malware i mean just because your friend shared a link doesn't mean it's safe. Mm. Number four, share carefully. That means avoid linking your meeting apps with social media accounts. Okay. Only the host and their designee should be allowed to share screen or content. Mm. Do not share a link to a virtual meeting room on unrestricted social media sites. Be aware of what you have open on your screen when sharing your screen during the meeting. Okay. And make sure it's okay for anyone to see. And the last number five, whenever there is any doubt, ask it. Investigate if something doesn't seem right. Hmm. Contact the meeting organizers directly through another channel, not the meeting application. Okay. And be open when someone asks you to verify your account. Right. Those are great tips, Dipesh. Thanks for sharing. Internet is a dual edged sword. And it's a great weapon too. Handle it with care and teach others safe handling techniques.